Hi students, this is your science miss. In this session, we are going to discuss about unit 20 organ system in animals part 3. In last two videos, we covered digestive system and excretory system. Now, we are going to discuss about reproductive system. The capable, capacity to reproduce is one of the most important characteristics of living beings. The reproductive system of male and female consists of many organs which are distinguished as primary and secondary sex organs. The primary sex organs are gonads which produce gametes and secrete sex hormones. The secondary sex hormones includes the genital ducts and gonads, glands which helps in transportation of gametes and enable to reproductive processes. The reproductive organs become functional after attaining sexual maturity. In males, the sexual maturity is attained at the age of 13 to 14 years. In female, it is attained at the age of 11 to 13 years. This age is known as the age of puberty. Now we are going to see about male reproductive system. Human male reproductive system consists of testis, uh, it's a primary sex organ, scrotum, vasa difference, urethra, pinnus and accessory glands. Testis. A pair of testis lies outside the abdominal cavity of the male. The testis are the male gonads which produce male, uh, sperms and a sex, male sex hormone testosterone. Along the inner surface of the each testis lies a mass of coiled tubules called epididymis. The sertoli cells of the testis provide nourishment to the developing sperms. Scrotum. The scrotum is a loose pouch like sac of skin which is divided internally into right and left scrotal sacs. The scrotum acts as a thermoregulator organ and provides an optimum temperature for the formation of the sperms. Vasa difference. It is a straight tube which carries the sperms to the seminal vesicle. The sperms are stored in the seminal plasma of seminal vesicle which is rich in fructose, calcium and enzymes. The vasa difference along with seminal vesicle opens into ejaculatory duct which expels the sperms and its accretion from seminal vesicles into the urethra. Urethra is a uh, contained inside the penis and conveys the sperms from the vasa difference which passes through the urethral opening. The accessory glands associated with the male reproductive system consist of seminal vesicles, prostrate gland and corpus gland. The secretion of these glands form a seminal fluid and mixes with the sperm to form semen. This fluid provides nutrition and helps in the transportation of sperms. Do you know? The sperm is the smallest cell in a male body. The process of formation of sperm is known as spermatogenesis. Now we are going to see about female reproductive system. The female reproductive system consists of ovaries, oviducts, uterus and vagina. Ovaries. A pair of almond shaped ovaries is located in the lower part of the abdominal cavity. The ovaries are the female gonads which produce female gametes that is egg or ovum and secretes female sex hormones estrogen and progesterone. A mature ovary contains a large number of ova in different stages of development. Fallopian tubes otherwise called as oviducts are paired tubes originating from uterus one on either side. The terminal part of the fallopian tube is funnel shaped with finger like projections called fimbriae lying near the ovary. Uterus. Uterus is a pear shaped muscular hollow structure present in the pelvic cavity. It lies between urinary bladder and rectum. 
development of the fetus occurs inside the uterus a narrow lower portion of the uterus is called cervix which leads into the vagina vagina is the uh, the ut uh, uterus narrows down into a hollow muscular tube called vagina it connects cervix and the external genitalia it receives the sperms act as a birth canal during the childbirth otherwise called as saturation here in this diagram this spear shaped part is a uterus and this is a fallopian tube and here endometrium is formed and this is a ovary and this part is cervix and at last it opens into a vagina an ovum is the largest human cell the process of formation of ovum is known as oogenesis students please go through part 1 part 2 and part 3 videos go through the lesson properly find out the answers for the evaluation part thank you students